First, the Indian Army was roped in to undertake the construction of foot-over bridges at three railway stations in Mumbai. Now, Bengaluru Civic Body seeks help from the Indian Army to clean their mess in the Belandur Lake. The civic bodies, BBMP, the BWSSB or BDA for that matter, who is the custodian of this 900 acre lake, we see that they have abdicated from their responsibilities. They have knocked at the doors of army asking for help. The Bengaluru Development Authority, which was tasked with cleaning up the infamous Belandur Lake, has shirked its responsibility and approached the army to clean up the toxic lake. So if army... Uh, uh would like to use this lake, uh, we are very happy to offer the uh, facility to them. They'll also they'll have to clean it up before they can use it. The National Green Tribunal that has been monitoring the rejuvenation of the lake for two years previously wrapped the government, saying that Belandur is Bengaluru's largest septic tank. And now the civic body wants to wash their hands off the city's largest lake. Actual cleanup of Belandur Lake is something probably the army can step in, but so 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 can anybody else. So on Mirror now we ask, should the Indian Army do the government's job? Let's debate. Hello and welcome to the Urban Debate. Why does a country need an army of soldiers? Why does a country need a defense force? to defend the nation from external enemies, to defend our borders. Now in times of emergency, of course, any nation's army will step up to help. To maintain law and order for internal violence and law and order issues for natural disasters, yes. But when a country begins to turn to its soldiers, armed, trained soldiers, to start building bridges which should be part of our regular development program to start cleaning up lakes then there is something terribly going wrong with our civil administration what else can it mean if it doesn't prove how inefficient and completely incompetent our current establishments are so in Mumbai Last year we saw, after the Elphinstone stampede, that the government turned to the army and said, please build a bridge for us. Build three bridges and do it in three months, but because we absolutely cannot. Since then, what has the own civic establishment done in terms of bringing in new projects and development of railways, platforms and bridges? Barely anything. Now what's happening in Bengaluru? For years and years together, people have been crying out loud to save the Belandur Lake, to save all of the lakes of Bengaluru city. The National Green Tribunal has pulled up successive governments. The High Court has repeatedly looked into this issue. Citizens, activists, environmentalists are fed up of questioning the development authorities, the civic body and the state government. So what do they do? They turn towards the army again. Please help us clean our lakes because apparently we are not even capable of doing just that. Why do we need to bring in an army? That's the big question. Is this a complete failure of the state government of Karnataka and any other place in our country where for infrastructural development issues we are turning to our soldiers now? Let's say good evening to our guests. With me is Brinda DK, activist, Krishna Mitru, environmentalist, Professor K. E. Radhakrishna, Vice President for the Karnataka Pradesh Congress Committee. I'll also have Smriti Harit, spokesperson for the BJP, shortly with us. And I, I believe Mr. Arivalagan, spokesperson of JDS, is also with us. Let me go across to Mr. Arivalagan first and ask him. Do you approve of this, Mr. Arivalagan? You've just come to par. Are you admitting that your new government and under you, the Bengaluru Development Authority is incapable of saving the city's lakes? Um, actually, no, madam. I disagree with your word, what you say. And our government has come to power just about one and a half months back. And uh, the Bangalore Development Authority, what they have taken help from, uh, what they have approached the army, you'll be knowing that it is about 900 acres of land uh, of lake. 
and uh, it is to be cleaned by the BDA and according to them uh, they require around three years to be completed and uh, it is a very long period it's not going to happen and uh, the necessity of cleaning the lake it's very 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 important and it should be done in very short time the only left out is better to go with the army nothing wrong with going with the army it is their duty to do it is not their country. duty to do no i'm sorry you are highly mistaken who told you it is the army's duty to save our lakes and environment no 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 no, 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 no. One thing, one thing. Uh, no, no, no. Let me be very clear, madam. It is a part of almost all responsible citizens. So, what is, what is the government's employee, job? Whomever it is, it is responsible citizen. So, what is the is. Bengaluru Development Authority's job? What is the government's but, job? What government. is BBMP's job? What are you all doing then? Now, one thing, madam. Bengaluru Development Authority definitely they required very long term, about three years. So this three years definitely it is going to be a very long period. According to them, it's not going to be cleaned within short duration of period. So that it is the only reason they are seeking the help of army. Why? Because it's very clear we want to clean the lake as soon as possible. And you'll be knowing that in our budget also we are sanctioned around 50 crore rupees hmm. for uh, cleaning of Belandur Lake. And moreover, even uh, even you'll be knowing that the foam, the froth which is formed only due to using of detergent as well as some other chemicals so that even our budget we made it very clear we are chanted about 10 crore rupees for the farmers to grow soap nut uh, trees mm. and it is a very long period definitely we are into that we are taking this as very serious account and uh, definitely we are working for it so how soon do you think the army can do this job that you uh, otherwise will take th three years No, no. Why? Because, as you know, that the BDA authority told uh, told very clearly, there are shortage of workers. There are shortage of no, no, workers. No, no, so no. I get that, that Mr. Arunachal I'm asking wrong you. In, uh, calling a civil body into the work. No, no. If there is a shortage of workers with your uh, development authority, then please fix that problem. It's not the army's problem. Their problem is uh, defending us from our external enemies. The problem is guarding our borders and ensuring that we get to sleep safely in our homes every night. The job is not to clean up the lakes. I'm going to ask uh, Professor Radha Krishna, Vice President of KPCC. Professor Radha Krishna, if army is expected to clean up our lakes and our politicians and the chief ministers and other ministers going to go and stand and guard our borders, should we send you all to Siachin then? No, no, it's not to be simple. Uh, I would like to say that we should not simplify this issue so easily. It's not that simplification when the but army you've is you've gone for the clean, simplest answer. Say that there is a but Professor, you've gone for the simplest answer. No, no, Let's call like in the army. It. Let's. We, why do we have to rack our brains, no, 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 come no, up no. with a policy, yeah, come yeah, up with no, a plan, no, 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 hire uh, people, uh, make uh, a design, make a project, uh, 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 scrutinize the accounts. Why should we do any of it? Let's just madam, give it to the army. Madam, madam can you just, uh, I would appreciate your concern. I would appreciate your concern so much that you have taken up the cause of Belandur Lake because Belandur Lake today represents not only a particular lake in Bangalore, it the Belandur, Belandur Lake's decline or degradation represents our urban greed and therefore our urban mismanagement. All of us are responsible for that. Whenever there is a serious issue, in 2015 in January when the lake caught fire, Actually, it drew the attention of everybody, though the problem was beneath, the problem was very much there. You know very well the topography of Bangalore. The Bangalore has got an underground sanitation network. Ten kilometers away from Balandur Lake, there is a carbon pit where the old Bangalore, the Bangalore Business District, where there are so many weavers, dying units, and the color from there gets into Balandur Lake. And therefore, we should realize. We should realize. I appreciate your concern. I'm. I'm. I'm very, very. As a responsible journalist, you, you and your uh, channel, taking up the issue is an issue of a concern for all of us. But I would not be. Uh, I would not accept to say that you are responsible. You are responsible. All of us are responsible for that. Okay. So, Bangaloreans. So, Professor Radhakrishna, I am told. Net, and therefore, when I say one, one minute, one minute. Let me. La, la, the last sentence. When the army is called, when there is a bigger calamity, when a bigger calamity is, army is always called. So, how is this, who allowed this to become a big calamity? 
Who allowed this to become a big calamity? Which was the party in power for no, the last five years? Naturally. You, which you, party, you, which you party and to, under which let, party let, let did the Bengaluru let, Development no, no, Authority and let, BBMP not I do should, their job uh, in the past uh, five uh, years? I, you have every right to ask me this question, but I have also a right to defend myself. I would not accept to say that I have done so much as a party. No. 2015 when the issue came up, there was a concern about the whole thing, there was awareness, so many stakeholders involved, 152 acres of wetland was actually identified for clean, what you call to see that this uh, high metal does not go there, the methane is subsidized, the froth and fire is the result of domestic pollution, domestic pollution mm -hmm. as well as industrial pollution. Belandur Lake today represents the entire urban culture of our country, whether it is the fall of a bridge in uh, Maharashtra by Mumbai or Belandur Lake or a fire in Delhi, all these things are today represent. Therefore, I'd say it is a calamity, though not calamity should be understood in a different manner. It is not just uh, instantaneous death. It is a very serious issue and the government of Karnataka led by it's a coalition government. For the last five years, we have done enough. Um, may not be done enough, but we have you seized have up nothing. the matter. And now the you continuation, our government is in power. And we are together. You did nothing, nothing, Professor Radhakrishnan. You have every right to say nothing. For the last two years, uh, you have been trying to palm off. For the last two years, you have been, have been right trying to palm off the Bellandur Lake to the I Defense Ministry. I done everything. Is it not but true? we will do together. Listen to my question, it is, please. It is actually. And listen say, to my I question, please. Ma Madam, we have established a Lake Development Authority. The last five years, a Lake, lake Governance Authority. Why? It is Give not it to, to the be army. just away in one day. Okay. Why? I will, no, listen to this. Professor, it cannot Professor be Radha Krishna, now please I am listen sure. to me now. I tell you this government. Setting up committee makes no matter. difference to me. It's of no please. relevance to me or to the citizens of Bengaluru or any part of this country because the committee is not doing any work. Here is what is happening. Or you are not allowing the committee to do the work. Here is what I has am, happened. In June 2011, may, may, thousand may soldiers are, were brought I mean, in. I, one minute, sir. Let me just tell our viewers this. In June 2011, 1,000 soldiers were brought in to DV uh, garbage and sewage, uh, which was there in Alsur Lake. The Bengaluru Development Madam, Authority Madam, Madam, couldn't do that job, viewers, for three years. For three Madam, years, Bengaluru no, Development no, no. Authority How was trying to clean up I the I Alsur I Lake. Army did it in eight hours. Eight so, hours. Uh, yeah, Bangalore development June 2016. Bangalore development a one minute, sir, please. Uh, this is not a question to you. Professor no, no, Radhakrishna, you can't go on talking. One minute, please. Uh, this is for our viewers to understand okay. the inefficiencies okay. of any government in Karnataka in the last 10 years at least. In June 2016, proposal to hand over the lake to the I defense uh, ministry was mooted. You, you, in June 2017, uh, in 2017 Bengal Bengaluru Development Authority, the BDA, no, no. proposed army come and maintain the lake. January 2018, no. after the lake caught fire and the visuals are just running on no. his screens just a short while ago, BDA again wanted to hand over the lake to the army. They have been doing this, trying to palm off their responsibility to the army permanently since 2016. No. It is not, it is a, so see, it's no calamity that has occurred uh, can today. You hear me for a this minute, is please? a calamity that the Congress party has allowed is, to fester. Yes, now tell me, what do you want to say? Okay. I should, should, I, should I tell you that the household and the many industries around uh, Belandur Lake was licensed and given unauthorized structures when they came. Do you know that? It has come much earlier. So who is and all of us are today, there is no question of you, Tutu Meme telling actually, it is nothing like that. Yamuna River was cleaned by the army and calling the army is not, BDA is abdicating their responsibility. Of course it like is. That. BDA is collaborating with the, uh, it is collaborating, it is not abdicating, it is your view, I respect your view. If, BA, if BDA, if BDA would have taken three years army, and if BDA had army, started three years ago, they would have finished the job by now, but they didn't. And you cannot deny no, that. To Smriti Harit's spokesperson of the BJP the is also with us right problem, now. But before I go across you, to Smriti Harit, I want to go across to Brinda Adike uh, and ask her this question. Brinda Adike, this is now becoming a habit. 
from building bridges in Mumbai because uh, the uh, authorities here are incapable of doing anything efficiently and without corruption to now saving lakes in Bengaluru. This calamity, so-called calamity, didn't occur overnight, did it? Absolutely. This is not something that happened recently. It has been accumulating for years together. Environmentalists and organizations working with lakes have been constantly bringing this issue with the government, bringing it forward, bringing their plans, all the research that they have done. But there has been no convergence. There has been no implementation. And over the years, every year, the government has said that we have kept aside some money. We are cleaning up Belandur Lake. Now, today, my question would be, where is that money? What has happened to the taxpayers' money? One. Two, you are asking the army to clean up the lake. But you have not involved any of the builders or the building uh, people living in those buildings as to what are the other sources that is actually polluting this lake. So how is it going to get cleaned up? That is a big question. If we are not able to bring about any kind of stop to where the source is and what is polluting this, how is it simply going to get cleaned overnight? Three. If this is what we are asking the government, uh, the army, to come forward to do up this work, then what are the civil servants over there for? They are all being paid. They are there. Now we have the Bangalore Development Authority. Now we are also having the Lake Development Authority and the army. And how long is the army going to take? We have got no response from the army yet. It is just that the government says that we will do. But in the meantime, citizens will continue to suffer. We are not pulling up builders who have not worked according to the plan, who have continuously gone ahead and done everything other than what their plan is. And uh, Professor also mentioned about the weavers in Cabin Pet. That is a very small group of people whose whatever waste and affluence that we are talking about. We are not addressing these huge industries. We are not addressing the factories that are actually pushing the pollutants into this lake. Where is, it, where is this going to stop? Because somebody has to raise up these issues. Somebody has to pin them. There has to be strictures put down. Now, all of that is not being discussed in the cleaning up of the Belandur Lake. Why are the local communities not being called? Why are the people who have already done work on it and have told you what can be the solution not being involved to say, come, let's sit together and see what can be done? We simply cannot, you know, offhand say, now we have told the uh, army and now they will look after it. This is not the way democracy functions. Absolutely. And I can, I can tell you why, why weren't the, the, uh, this, why wasn't the civil society, the local residents, any of them involved? Because that would entail a lot of work. That will entail a lot of responsibility, uh, which is what BDA doesn't want to do. Now, let me go across uh, to, to the BJP spokesperson. Smriti Harith is with us. Smriti Harith, whose responsibility is it in Bengaluru or in any other state to maintain the lakes? Uh, so, yeah, so currently in uh, Bangalore, 110 lakes are owned. I mean, the responsibility of 110 lakes is that of the BBMP, and that of another 60 lakes is by the BDA. Oh, here, yeah, what has happened is no, the, no, no local authority, the government does not want to own responsibility for cleaning up the lake of Bilandur. Well, you know, crores of rupees have been pumped in to clean the uh, lake, but we all don't know where this money has gone. People have asked for a social audit, but nothing has come out of it. We really don't know where 800 crores that the union government sanctioned for cleaning up of Belandur Lake has gone. Over here, what the government has repeatedly tried to do is to try to, you know, apply some balm onto it and try to only, you know, treat the, superficially treat the wound, but not really go to the root cause of the problem. There are close to about 40,000 residents living around that lake. But, you know, you do not want to do anything about, you know, uh, uh, making sure that the sewage from these apartments are, ensure that you don't allow the sewage from these apartments don't enter into the Vellandur Lake. Hmm. There's a lot of proposals that have been put forward by, you know, various organizations. There's, in fact, a lot of uh, work that, you know, can be done to actually improve the quality of the water in the lake. But the government clearly does not want to do it. They want to absolve their, themselves of all the responsibility by conveniently handing over the responsibility to the army. Come on, the army has a lot of work to do and by you know asking them to come and clean the lake repeatedly, that is not the solution to the problem. 
In fact, we don't need the army to step in. What we need is political will and an army of citizens to come and take over the cleaning of this lake. No, actually. Yes, go ahead, yeah, please. To be real, uh, I strongly condemn what. Uh, now, I strongly condemn whatever the BJP spokesperson is saying of why because five years back they were under ruling condition what they have done this is the cause which have been happened about 30 40 years back and it is continued now one government cannot take responsibility of it and you will be knowing that the last five years and especially last two years out of uh, 97 industries 13 industries have been closed down 159 apartments are under supervision and uh, you, the government is taking its own card, whatever it can be done. And uh, as a coalition partner, just we came to power about one and a half month back. And about uh, 10 days back, even we are uh, transferred the BWSSB chairman also. Why? Because to make very clear and to be the action to be taken in a very rapid way. And I do not want this Belinda rig to be politicized. But, yeah, why? Because it's very clear. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be under part of JDS. It shouldn't be under part of Congress. It shouldn't be under part of BJP. It is a collective measures of all the political what, party, what you all the to, elected representative, all the local publics. What do you have to say to what uh, Brinda Adige is saying and that as well as the government that the, that the BDA or the government uh, haven't even reached out? It is a collective out. responsibility. It is if a it is a collective responsibility, responsibility why have you not reached out to the civil society? Why have you not reached out to the residents, to the activists, to the environmentalists uh, and uh, asked them to come and help you if you are understaffed at the BDA, uh, Mr. Arivalagam, have you even considered that? Or have you just been told by the BDA that we have been I trying like to, to give the responsibility like to the army? It's the easy way out. Let's please go ahead and do that. Uh, I, uh, one minute, Professor I Adhikrishnan, I'll like come to you. I would like to intervene if possible. If no, I just want to hear the JDS representative's view, then I will come to you. Yes. Thank you. No, I am not getting your point, madam. My point is you are saying it is collective responsibility. No, please, I am not getting your point. Then if it is collective responsibility of Definitely everyone, it is a collective. Madam, I, why what, have you not madam, reached out as, to the As, as we form the government, question. we cannot take all the responsibility. Listen, listen no, to no, my let question. Let me be very clear. It is a collective listen responsibility to my question. of government agency. It is a collective responsibility by elected persons. It is a... Uh, tell me, madam. The question is this. Why have you not reached out to the local residents? Why have you not reached out to the local NGO groups, to the environmentalists, to the activists, the citizens who live there, who want to help clean and save the lakes? Brinda DK just said that. That the authority hasn't even reached out to people. So instead of turning no, to the I, army, why don't you work together with the civil society? Definitely, even we need the help of civil society also. As Brinda Madam said, we are into that. Just will, uh, as a JDS person, it's my duty to convey the message to our CM and look after that. Why? Because civil society plays very, very, very important role. It's very clear. And uh, let me first congratulate whatever the Brinda Madam has given up the communication message. No, sir. Your congratulation message is just a farce. This is not oh. the first time any citizen has come out and said that. Vrinda, madam, no. is not the first one to come out and say that. Uh, yes, Professor Radha Krishna, what would you like to say? And then we'll go across to Krishna Mitru, environmentalist also joining us. But, Professor, first. Uh, I, I, would like, uh, I would like to interfere, intervene here and say, between 2003 and 2013, mm. who ruled this state? Mm. One minute. 2003 and 113, I also don't blame, I don't indulge in blame game. 2003 and 2013, Bangalore developed in multiple in its population, multiple in its what you call home structures, industries, etc. At that time, if license were given properly, around Bangalore, periphery has grown. Now, around Bangalore Lake, Balandur Lake, this issue should not have taken place. And now, just making something very big that the army is being called is actually abdicating the problem. I would definitely very respectfully beg to refer from you, though as a journalist you can attack me and my government, but it's not so. It is taking somebody's help. So your what defense is happening right here now, now? What is happening this. in your Yamuna? Yamuna? Right one now. minute, one minute. I, I, no, 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 no. You, <coughs> you should give me a time. Now what happened to Yamuna cleaning in Delhi? Why the army was called? Now, a situation in Bangalore has the re required that the army is giving cut. If army has done in three days what B B BDA could not do in what, three years, 
We should appreciate the army because army is a part of our governance. We should appreciate and the army, the army and do we it. do. You know what we don't appreciate? Inefficient and incapable, no, no, incompetent you governments. Cannot, you, we don't you appreciate you incompetent chief ministers. We don't appreciate army. incompetent ministers, army elected a, representatives. A, army has a proper, Nobody proper is questioning the army here. Army has a this is not the army's job. They may be the best people to do it. It's still not their job. They may be the best people to do it. It is still not their job. The correlation government because Professor because Radhakrishnan has brought this out, let me again highlight to our viewers just one minute, please. Are Professor Radhakrishnan, I came to you, I heard you out. Now you can't go on and you on. You are please. not interested in solving the problem, you are interested in burning this problem. Sure, we're going to go take some phone calls right <laughs> now, and we will ask democratic. the citizens who is it who is not interested in solving the problem, Mira now or, or the elected representatives of Karnataka. In just a bit, sir, we will ask the viewers this question, but first. I just want and to highlight that in 2005, army was called in to assist in the construction of a footbridge over Jhelum. In 2008, army was called in to rescue a child from the borewell because the local administration in Agra was incapable of doing it themselves. In August 2017, army was called in to handle the jat agitation after obviously the local police failed to do its job. In 2010, Army was called in to reconstruct collapsed bridge ahead of the CWG Games, bridges that collapsed because of collective corruption between the builders and the Netas. In March 2016, Army was called in to build a floating bridge for Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's event. In fact, then they were called in to clean it up as well. The army is now manning Ganga to keep a vigil on people throwing waste in Lucknow. This is what happened in January 2016. Now we are asking them to protect our rivers from citizens who throw waste in the river. And now in uh, September 2017, army was called in to clean up the garbage at tourist destinations at high altitudes because civic administration cannot, cannot really work at those altitudes. What's happening? Krishna Mitru is our our, our establishment authorities government incapable of doing any kind of work either saving the environment or building infrastructure uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to this program and uh, very interestingly I've been hearing all this uh, that's going on uh, basically I would like to tell you that the role of the army is uh, aid to civil power, uh, that's the primary role, but that is only in case of an emergency, uh, if there's a disaster. Now, there's a natural disaster or there's a man-made disaster, but there has to be a disaster. Now, this kind of a thing is not a natural disaster, it's a man-made disaster. I would, uh, I would feel very, very belittled if uh, army is called up to clean the garbage that has been created by the civic authorities by not cleaning their lakes, by not ensuring that uh, the garbage is not discharged into the lake over a period of time. This is clear complacence on part of the uh, municipality or the local government in discharging their own day-to-day -day duties for which they earn their salaries. They have not done proper planning, which has resulted into total discharge of effluents into the, uh, the uh, Balunduru Lake, and which has now resulted into almost uh, a poisonous pollution uh, of the lake. The army cannot be called for this dirty cleaning of the civil administration and the local governments. I would seriously object for the army being used for this purpose, I would say that the civil government or the, uh, or the civic authorities must be severely punished financially, monetarily and uh, otherwise uh, um, for having defaulted on not taking care of the natural resources which are available to us for polluting Balanduru Lake and letting it go to such an extent that poisonous emissions are taking, uh, are, are taking place in that place and uh, even the, the living has become uh, 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 difficult uh, environmentally uh, in the surrounding areas of that lake. I just want to bring the attention of all our panelists and our viewers to what this lake used to look like, the Belandur Lake. Take a look at that viewers. There was a time when seaplanes could land on the lake. And look what we've collectively done. 
to the state of this water body and so many more of these lakes in and around Bengaluru. And the shocking part is no party is willing to take responsibility that they too at their own level when they were as part of the government or outside the government but elected representatives they all failed to save this lake. Major General K.K. Sinha is joining us uh, this evening as well. General Sinha, while I am all too glad that if the army agrees to come and clean up this lake, if the army agrees to come and give us a bridge in Mumbai so that more lives are not lost, and I know they are the, perhaps the best people to do it. Is it really the army's job? Are we setting a dangerous trend here, General, when we repeatedly turn towards army for infrastructural and development projects? Uh, Kavita, uh, you are right. I must tell you on the onset that uh, army has got its own responsibility to guard the motherland from the external uh, aggressions and also the army capability and capacity building as a national power with, in a power should be to project its strength outside and you know in which we are failing we are failing and lacking because of our resources being used for something else for something for the internal security aspect so you know the army should not jump into in this the army should not accept this and it will be a great loss because the army what they are saying that there is a AC you must understand it is the army service corps school and center over there and they want to rope in them they have got something to do with a very important thing for the logistic support chain of the army and if you want to involve the army that will be in the cost of its own capability and capacity development it is not a job of army and you will be you know reinforcing the failure of someone an army will come and do it it can do it once it can do there is twice but if it is going to be involved every time for the cleaning and maintenance which i learned i think it will be the biggest mistake to do that yes absolutely brindarige wanted to come and go ahead please oh uh, kavita you were able to get me Yes, General, we were able to hear you. This is Tanvi no, no, here. Let, let me express it a little bit uh, more, if you give me a time. Sure, go ahead, please. Uh, uh, we should not I even would, touch it. The army should like not to touch it with a barge pole. If it is going... I would like to interrupt, yeah. please. No, let him finish, please. He's like just to... joined us. Let him finish, please. Yes. Yeah, uh, General KK Sinha, please go ahead and finish Kavita, your let, point. Let, let, let me finish it. Let me finish it and make these people understand uh, this. Would, they can't do it on the cost of the nation. Please understand, it will be on the cost of the army's capability like and capacity building. See, army can come if the whole, I you know, like it to... can do it from done once. It can do it twice. Yes. If the all people are involved in it, there is nothing wrong. But if they have to take out their own money, if they have to take out the time, see the army over there in Bangalore is there to do a job. It is a school, it is a center where the manpower armies are trained. They can't take out time. Every minute is, you know, of the army people over there, it is scheduled. It can't be wasted in a job like this because it's not his charter. There is an NDMA, you must understand, National Development Development Authority. Right. If there is a calamity, please call him. Right. It is not happening. Absolutely. So, Professor Radhakrishnan wanted to respond. Go ahead, please. Ah, yes. I appreciate very much and I am very much appreciate what the general said because army is one of the most greatest institution of this country. Army being called to clean the garbage is not an issue that anybody would appreciate. But at the same time, I would like to tell you, the modalities of actually taking the help of the army is not yet worked out. It is not just to jump into the conclusion that army like actually mm. just go collect the garbage and throw it's not like that. They have expertise, they have knowledge, they have lot of uh, inputs and why that doesn't will be the, Why doesn't the authority the that was set up in 2010 
Bengaluru no, Development no, 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 Authority no, 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 was set up in 2010 the just to take care there. of these issues. Uh, why don't and, they and, have and the and capability clean. and the expertise? Uh, uh, why I'm don't sorry. they have the expertise? Yes, the army will be why doesn't BDA the have the expertise? Yes, yes, not the issue. Why doesn't BDA have the expertise? It is their no, job. No, the they have been no, set no, no, up no, no. to do exactly this. Jointly, jointly. Why jointly? Uh, why doesn't BDA, BDA, BDA do it by itself? BDA is taking the help of the army. No, sir. Firstly, BDA has been trying to palm off the lake. To army over. completely, not jointly, not and now. secondly, BDA was set up to do just this job. And you, request. as your government in the let previous establishment really and in this establishment, have failed to empower BDA to <coughs> that put extent. That really so don't put it on you army now. Bring the DJ, please. Bring the DJ. They are taking their cooperation. They are taking their help. Listen to what the army officer is I, telling you. I also you. agree that we must call the army. I yes. have no I, problem. I would like with to interfere. But I what would like we are to again interfere and over again here. talking about One minute, please. cleaning the, the lake. First. But we have not talked anything about <laughs> keeping that lake clean. There is no sustained plan Absolutely. to keep the lake clean, which means we are not including the civil society. This has to be also a prevention. We simply cannot say, army, you come, it's going to take three years, now you will finish it in three months, so clean it up and you go away. And my job as the government is over. Why are we not looking at a long-term sustained plan? Why is the civil society not being involved? There is a lot of RTIs that have been filed. We have sought for a lot of social, report, social audit reports. Many environmentalists have put forth plans to rejuvenate the lake but also to all, put in strictures for factories and industries that are sending affluence over there along with the 40,000 uh, people who are inhab inhabiting in and around that place. Why is all of this not looked at as a comprehensive plan? Because this is what democracy is. We are not looking at it like that but we are saying let's do a band-aid. Let's call the army, they will clean it up and they will go away and that is unacceptable. This is not how we will be working. Already so much money has gone into it, like the other lady pointed out, 800 crores from the central government and we do not know what has happened to central all of that money. Has how much money they have given, you audit. Okay, central government whatever it promise. is, we do not, not want another 50 crores to just go just into a cleaning crore. and then leave it as it is. We want a comprehensive plan that says this lake will not, not, find out. Shall not be dirty so, again. Sir, okay, let me get, the, let me again. ask, now, let me get this clear. When that is a point taken, uh, let me ask this to the JDS and the Congress representative. If army does the clean up, who is funding it? I, I just would like to say that. What Vrindaji said that one no, no, answer my question, that there please. Should, there should be a sustainable develop program. It, I will ask the answer the question. The Citizens Action Committee has given a memorandum to the then Bangalore Minister, the government, huh. and one of the points was a short, short term program, hmm. and this is the short term program. It does not mean that in long term that army is maintaining the lake. It's not I like just that. counted out army to you that this is not the first the time you have sought army's is help the, to clean up a lake and this will not be the last it time. The, that is no, exactly why we are raising this issue. Mr. Arimalgar, can state you tell me if the army it, cleans up this lake for you, who is going to fund it? The state will the state fund it or will the center fund it? The state government, the state government has, the state government has allotted 50 crores. So why if can't the 50 crore be given to BDA to, uh, to clean it up? Do it. And the state government, the state government so far has not depended on the central government. Which Professor Radhakrishnan, may I just request it you to allow other panelists to talk? Professor Radhakrishnan, may I request you to allow other panelists to talk? You must also remember in five years when your party was solely in power, you failed <coughs> to save the lakes and do anything to you, turn them no, around. No, 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 no. You are so I don't again. think you should sit here. And now I tell us about what understand your plans the are. Program. Understand the problem. To no, plan I am it. telling you, Arthur you are not the only person on this up. panel. So please allow other people to talk. My question is very clearly to Mr. Ariwalagam. You are attacking ah, this, madam. Madam, 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 madam. Already we are letter around 50. 50 crore. So why can't BDA clean it up with 50 crore?
Already 50 crore rupees have been allotted in our budget for cleaning of Belandur Lake. It is by the state government. And left out what are the financial assistance is this from BBMP as well as BDA to take care of it. And moreover, you will be knowing that even apart from this, our coalition government made it very clear yesterday in our budget, we are allotted around 10 crore rupees for growing of soap net trees. It is a long procedure for cleaning of lakes. Maybe, simply saying it may be very easy, but it takes a very long year. Definitely even that soap net uh, will play very, very, very important role in cleaning of lakes. Not only Belandal lakes, almost all the lakes in Karnataka. No, I object. See, of course. No objection. No, 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 no. Using of soap nut no, no, no. is a long term solution, I agree. But that, and more that perhaps will no, 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 only no. be seen by our grandchildren. See, for the debating side, you need not want to talk. For debating side, please what stop. Need, oh, whatever you not, your son will not even give one by say. For cleaning the balance of the lake, how can you talk? How can you talk? You don't have any idea. I always don't have any idea. You're sitting the jury and the BJP next to each other is not going to be a great idea. Just now, you're sitting the jury and the BJP next to each other is not going to be a great idea. Just now, you. Can you both have to understand if you two start yelling Very sitting clearly. next to each Please other, nobody will be able to hear you. Yes, Riti, what are you saying? Go ahead. No, see, of course, making use of soap nut is a long term solution. But this perhaps will take an, at least another two, three generations for us to actually see the impact of this. No. What needs to be done at, no, at, at, generation. What needs to be done at present what it is, is to put a ban on the harmful detergents that even third world country, countries do not use. Right. Uh, put, a, put a straight away ban on uh, making use of these detergents. There are milder detergents that the rest of the world are using. We can of course... Yeah, but who's thinking of, of that. all that? What we really need to do is all the local bodies come together, they sit and sort the issues out. Working in silos is not going to help. The government needs huge amount of political will that they do not have because more than 50% of the residents in Belandu <coughs> are non guys. They are all migrants. Perhaps they are not even registered as voters in that particular region, which is why they do not have the political will to actually clean up the Belandur Lake. Okay, I'm going to go across to Shamitra calling us from Mumbai. Uh, one minute to all our panelists. Let's listen it to our listen in to our viewers as well. Shamitra is on the phone line from Mumbai. Good evening, Shamitra. Uh, thank you for uh, taking out this topic. Yeah. Uh, quite frankly, honestly, being the son of an army man, I'm absolutely saddened and uh, totally enraged by this whole thing. Uh, I mean, uh, has the uh, present government become so so incapable and so incompetent that every small civic job that needs to be done, the army needs to be called? I mean, I get it. Uh, you know, when when there's uh, uh, you know when it happens at a war torn region. But in uh, common day-to-day -day scenarios, why does the army need to be called for this? I mean, then if the uh, if that's the case, then all these civic authorities should be fired, and things should be handed over to a private authority. Then yes, I completely because, agree with you. That's a, that's a, a great suggestion. Uh, that if these authorities can't do it, just palm it off to at least private authorities who will take care of it. And we've seen examples of corporates who've uh, taken up. Uh, especially these uh, environmental projects and done a great job out of it, even in Bengaluru. I've got another caller, Sudindra, on the phone line from Bengaluru. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Uh, good evening. Uh, I've been hearing through the whole discussion and uh, I travel occasionally through this Belandur Lake and feel really ashamed to see uh, the surroundings over there. Now, I have a solution for this. Uh, all the MLAs and MPs, especially I think Arif Lagan is hearing, probably Kumar Swami and uh, all the other politicians are also hearing. Just shift your houses near the Valandur Lake. I'm sure in 15, 20 days, the lake will be cleaned off. They cannot sustain the smell and the trouble they're having. So I would request him to actually go and stay nearby. Probably that will help the surrounding and people nearby as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for calling us uh, and sharing your view. Krishna Mitru wanted to make a point. Yes, Mr. Mitru, Mitru go ahead, please. Uh, I have got a couple of points. Uh, you know, uh, referring uh, particularly to the professor, uh, what he was saying just now, that uh, army has got the technology to clean uh, uh, the place, the lake. I am surprised when uh, the construction was being done around Belanduru Lake, was it a rocket science to not to allow any affluent discharge into the lake? Was it a great technology with, uh, which the architects did not know? that the effluents should not be discharged into the Belanduru lake of the, uh, of the projects which are built around uh, the lake. D did that involve something very big? Did they not see that the lake is going to get polluted very soon? And uh, 
I am really surprised that such a discussion is, uh, uh, is handed over to the politicians. All the politicians are doing is blame game one after the other. They are trying to, uh, in, in, in Hindi, what they call it, political rotiyan sekhni hai. Is that what we are here for? Or we are trying to find out a solution to, uh, to clean this big mess which has been created by the civic authorities. I feel really sh ashamed that uh, I, if our civic authorities have, have we ever invited any civic authority for a discussion like this? Why do politicians come and go? They, they have a fixed term of five years. After that, they get elected and uh, somebody loses and goes off. Why don't the civic authorities come and answer to the public uh, uh, on, on the TV channel? Fair let enough. The, the point that the you're making, Mr. Mithru, is that there isn't... I agree with you. There is hardly any accountability when it comes to these authorities. Take the for, a case in point is the BDA set up purely for these kind of projects to say, uh, take care of these kind of lakes, uh, to clean them up, to stop the pollution, uh, to rejuvenate them, and they've not done anything. They have completely failed. And for past two years, it all is, that they have done is try is to convince the army to come and take it up. Professor Radhakrishnan, the point was to you. Do you want to respond to that? And then I'll go to General Sinha. Okay. I was um, telling you that BDA has a role to play, a very important role to play. It does not mean that the BDA cannot seek the help the government of Karnataka cannot seek the help from an institution, an expert institution like the army. There was a question, what has happened to the technology earlier? Now the technology 2003 to 2013, I was telling you, there was a land mafia, that was a grand land grabbing, there was a many unauthorized constructions. Who was responsible? You can go to RTI and find out who has given the license. No, no, you tell Which me. Which government ruled? I so, don't want to so say. So why didn't you act Which, against which them? are the people? Who are so the MPs? Why didn't MPs? you act against who them? Who are the MLS there? Why didn't who are you the people's representatives? Them? Now to why say, didn't you act, now act to against them? What stopped your government, no, your party no, to I act like, against I those like people say, who were responsible? I would like to say, no, 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 it's not. No, no, I would, I would appreciate that. All of us have responsibility mm. and now in a short time we have requested the army to get, lend their expertise and a long range plan is there. Can you admit and it today? That for will you admit, will you admit Professor Radhakrishna that your party as part of the government all these, uh, has failed to save the lakes? FTP Admit it tonight. Made. Admit it tonight, Mr. Aravalagam and Professor Radhakrishna. You are admit. because your no, party no, has you, been you in cannot, power for the cannot, past five and a half years, and you have failed to do anything. It. You have Why to admit, I admit it. it. You, you be truthful to truth. You be truthful to truth. Okay. And the truth is different. And I would not say Politicians that I have done are the best I not to admit their we have, faults. We have never, the right never will they. They will we get booted out of power. The they have been reduced for being the only <laughs> party in, in, in the state the right to direction. being a smaller, insignificant ally in the state. And they still don't get the message. General Sinha, no, you wanted to no, make no, a we point. We don't say that. We are not arrogant like other parties. We are not arrogant. We say very humbly. That we would like to take all the stakeholders. So accept it. You yeah, failed. Yeah, yeah, we know people. I can't hear you. The gentleman is speaking. Yes. If I will, I'll request Professor Radha Krishna. Professor is speaking. Can we just come back? What do you want to be? Yes. General Sinha, my question to you is, don't you agree yeah. this is and a sign of complete failure of our governments in various states at various times where they have turned towards the army? This is simply their failure. This is not about collaboration. This is not about seeking emergency help. Then we, you are absolutely right. This is the collective failure of the people who are responsible for this. It did also include the all politicians who have been you know, ruling the state. You know, it has not been done, you know, yesterday or day for yesterday. It has been done over a period of years. And why? When the money is allotted, when there is a, you know, manpower for it, they are trying to fall back to the army. The army and they say the army has got capability and technology. I must tell you, no army has got this technology. Only they have got determination and their hard work. They will do it. It doesn't require a rocket science. There are enough veterans, army veterans, air force and naval veterans over there. If you just turn to them, they will be able to do it. 
and army will join it you know if it is there uh, there is a you say a saramdan the army at its own time will come and do the job they will join the mayhem they will join the everything the effort but passing the buck passing the responsibility <clears throat> of cleaning and thereafter maintenance a big big no army should not get into the trap of these people the failures i am glad you point and we should up not this. reinforce the failure I'm glad you brought up the topic of using the 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 veterans, uh, the fa uh, former uh, soldiers who are retired and settled there, because you know, uh, General Sena, and this is for to to all our viewers as well. This is exactly and what the BBMP did. They will solve this problem, They will solve this problem, but look at how they are treated then. This is a story which came in Bangalore Mirror in uh, on July 4th, just a few days ago. They had, uh, they spoke about the life of the 21 former jawans who had been hired by the BBMP to guard, save and protect Belandur Lake. These marshals who have been brought in, who are former soldiers, they don't even have shelter, they don't have toilets, they don't even have chairs to sit. This is how our veterans are treated. And then the establishment has the uh, audacity to turn around and, and ask the army for help. The minute these soldiers are out of the army, look at the way you are treating them. Whole host of problems. You have not even given them proper shelter. They are supposed to sit out there in the open amongst the mosquitoes and guard it because a specific authority called Bengaluru Development Authority could not do it. This is how we treat our soldiers. And this is the respect we get. Mr. Awalakam, can I ask you this question? Will you at least look into this matter now and ensure that those who have been appointed as marshals are given the basic facilities as they save the lakes? To whom you have asked the question? I have asked it to the JDS representative. There is an absolute okay. silence on this. No, I still not at a got it. Huh? Uh, definitely we will look into that and definitely it is our uh, responsibility to look after the army persons. Huh? Just so we will look into that. I will just explain it to you one more time. BDA has appointed marshals, guards to protect the lake, to, say, uh, to guard it day in and day out. There are 21 former soldiers, retired Jawans, who have been given this responsibility. They don't even have a chair to sit, they don't have any proper shelter, they don't have toilets. You've sent them out there to guard this lake. My request to you is, if you genuinely care so much and value the support that the army gives you all the time, at least ensure that those who are doing your job now are given proper facilities and a proper shelter. Last word to Brinda Adige. Brinda Adige, since we have the Congress and the BJP and the JDS here on the debate, as a citizen of Bengaluru, what would your message be to our politicians when it comes to protecting the environment? It is pertinent, important that the state government and the Bangalore City Municipal Council take primary responsibility to see that this lake is clean and remains clean, which means you have to sustain it, which means you call everybody who has the technology, know-how, resource, <coughs> expertise at a table and sit and discuss it and draw out a plan because we also have to address the entire issue of corruption and that means if you get the civil society in, there are umpteen people who are willing to oversee and work and they are not asking any money from the government. So bring them all in and become accountable. And do not say that I am BJP, I am JDS, I am Congress and we are not going to work on it. This is a problem that has been created by all of you together. And you have not addressed it at those very, very different specific time. It is now time which means you take that responsibility, become accountable, come to the table, sit down together. There needs to be consultation, collaboration, convergence and involve the civil society. Because until and unless you are not able to prevent something like this happening again, you are not going to be giving a very good result to it. You are only going to keep calling the army every now and then say, now we've finished and now we've cleaned it. It got dirty again. We don't know which government. We do not want this kind of irresponsible statements. <clears throat> we need 
to be accountable for the positions that you have been elected into. Thank you so much. Thank you to all our panelists for joining us this evening. This is the only request we have of the Bengaluru Development Authority, the BBMP and the elected representatives of the state or in any other state. Do your job. You've been chosen to do this job. It's the simplest thing when you're failing to do your job because you are inefficient, incompetent or simply corrupt and don't care. The simplest thing to do is to turn to the army and ask them to come and save you and do your job. It is not the army's job. The army's job is to protect our borders, to guard our borders. The army's job is to fight our enemies. The army's job is to keep us safe. The army will step in. If there is a disaster, if there is a natural, uh, natural disaster uh, or a man-made disaster, if lives have to be saved at any point without hesitating to maintain law and order, they will come in. But to our Neta, stop making it a habit to bring in the army for every single failure of yours, from building bridges to cleaning up rivers to cleaning up lakes. Stop making it a habit to turn to the army, the very same soldiers, by the way, whom you often forget whom you often disrespect. You didn't think about the army and the, the fact that you will need the army's help when you disrespected those protesting veterans who were demanding their one rank, one pension. You didn't show any bother for them. You didn't show any care for, the, for any of those families of martyrs who were forced to run around from pillar to post to get what is duly theirs. So stop abusing and misusing the army like that. Of course, any day they will come in and do the job better than you and faster than you. But that's not the point. It is not their responsibility. It is yours. And if you cannot do it, then resign, step down and go home so that somebody else can come and serve the nation. Thank you so much for joining us on the Urban Debate.